Hi everybody, so today I just saw um, a beautiful day in the neighborhood with um, with Josh. Um, it was a non-date, unfortunately. We're not officially together right now, but we went to see that movie. Tom Hanks played Mr. Rogers and um, the dad from Veronica Mars was in it as well. I forgot his name, but <laughs> Keith Mars, that's his character's name. Um, but yeah, it's like I had a great time with Josh. Um, I think it was a date, but it was an on date. I mean, I mean, he wa he had some um concerns with school, and he wanted to make sure he's he's doing okay with school. So hopefully, I mean, we can be official again in December. I mean, this coming month when like he's on break. I don't know. I'm hoping. Cause like, yeah, I love him. But anyways, but yeah, we went to Papa Genius for pizza and ice cream because they had Ben and Jerry's, and we bought some Ben and Jerry's after the pizza and then went to showcase cinemas um to buy our tickets and i got in my i got in popcorn <laughs> i usually don't get that size i usually get like a small because i knew i'm not gonna be able to finish the, the on the i oftentimes i don't finish the popcorn um by the end of the movie um unless i get a small but then even then it depends like on my appetite if it's a really good day i would eat up the popcorn before like the half mark of the movie but if it was a bad day i would still have some popcorn left over but not as much as like this but um anyways <laughs> mr rogers was my childhood like i remember when i was a kid i used to watch mr rogers neighborhood all the time um of course like i don't really remember the episodes I do remember the episode with Arthur, when he guest starred on Arthur. Um, of course, Josh told me that he always, it was like a tribute episode for on um, Blue's Cruise, and he also made an appearance on Sesame Street, so I did not know that. Wow. I mean, I probably knew, I probably seen it on both of them, Blue's Cruise and Sesame Street, because both shows, they were big for me when I was a kid, but I don't remember anything about Mr. Rogers on either one of them, except for Arthur. Um, that's the only one that's like in my brain that I, I still have it with me. Um, but yeah. Um, but it was really great. Josh got a little emotional. I teared up a little bit. Um, I, it's like he, Tom Hanks, um, playing as Mr. Rogers, like he started off being on, on, on the show, on, on, on the, on an episode and like showing us, um, Kin Friday. And then, um, um, lady, don't remember her name, I'm an idiot. And then show us a picture of, um, his new friend, Lloyd, who, um, did a, a, an article on him, interviewed him. And now he's known for, like, make, making, um, celebrities look bad, but he could not make Mr. Rogers look bad. And I feel like, um, this movie is more than just that interview. And more than just about like this guy seeing like Mr. Rogers it is it, that's how he is like you cannot make him look bad it's more than just that it's also about like with Mr. Rogers um making Lloyd and his father reconnect before Mr. um before his father passed away um and it was a very touching moment it was a the movie itself is very touching and I cried like the, I don't know, for the for the um at the end, when he's saying that that song about like um, you're special just the way you are, um, about like tomorrow and stuff like that, um, yeah, I love that. I love that movie. I have just recently been watching um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood again on Amazon Prime. I know I'm just a kid, but it brings back so many memories, and it's like one of the most important parts of my childhood. And, like, I'm sure a lot of you would say the same. Um, and I'm sure, like, when I have kids, I want my kids to know Mr. Rogers. I want them to see the episodes of um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood on Amazon Prime. Since I have Amazon Prime and it's on this, uh, it's available Prime Video. So that's great. Um, I do plan on doing a tribute video for him. I might do two, actually. I'm going to do... 
It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And then I'll do his his um song that he ends every episode. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just because like he was very impactful and like his memory should always last forever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy how I why I think of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and of um, the movie t that we saw today. Um, I hope I get to do a, a, a review again next month. Um, it'll be, hopefully, I mean, if put an A, and like, from, I'm hoping for George to come out here again in December for Christmas. Well, before Christmas, obviously. But like, plan A is for um, him to come out here to go to safe homes for the Christmas party. Plan B, if not, if he can do that, he maybe he could come out here for Kiva at the Christmas party. But if that doesn't work out either, then Plan C is to go see a movie. And if we do do go see a movie, um, depending on like, I plan I'm planning on watching everything of Star Wars. I'm not a true Star Wars fan. I never cared about Star Wars, but now I have Disney Plus, so it's like I'm going to. Um, I watch things in chronological order. That's what I like. So I'm going to watch every movie and TV show in chronological order until I get to um, the last one that's that's out. And if I get to it by um, December 20th, that's when The Rise of Skywalker gets out, I, I'm going to treat Josh to that movie because he's more of a Star Wars fan than I am. And then I might do a review. Maybe get Star and Josh. We'll see. I don't know. Um, if not... Then the the other movie I really want to see is Cats. So I might do a review on that if I don't do the Star Wars review. So we'll see what happens when it comes to Josh getting here and to see me before Christmas. So, um, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm rambling on. Um, but yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye and see you in my next two videos about Mr. Rogers. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Take care.